In today's idea of the day, I'm going to tell you what bugs me the most about cable TV. Do you know what really bothers me about TV today? Decades ago, before cable TV came along, channels were known first and foremost by their number. I'm watching channel 7. That meant ABC. I'm watching Channel 4 in New York. That was NBC. Didn't take us long to get the numbers and the channels in our head. If you wanted to watch PBS in New York, it was 13. If you wanted to watch uh, Fox, it eventually became, that was 5. Pretty simple. Now, here's the problem. Today's cable TV systems have entirely different and changing numbers from provider to provider. Now, if you were a subscriber to Time Warner, which has now got a new name, Spectre, and you wanted to watch, let's say, CNN, I wouldn't even know where to find it. I, to be honest with you, I don't know a single channel number to this day. I almost never watch TV, but that's another story. But if and when I do, I at least want to know where to find the channel. Now, I know where to find the channels I just talked about. ABC is still seven. NBC is still, is still four in New York. But every other channel is subject to change without notice. And that's because they actually have to jockey for position. They, the, some of the bigger companies pay the cable company to actually get prime numbers. Like, I don't mean by prime numbers, but to get a good number, to get a, a low number. That means a number under 1,000, for example. But because of this politics and money in, 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 involved there, cable companies don't standardize which drives you crazy. It got to the point where, you know, you can now look at a TV guide, which for a while it was difficult because they had to have different editions of TV guide. You had to have the Staten Island, for example, edition to watch Staten Island cable TV. But if you went to Brooklyn, the numbers were different. So they'd have to have a different version, which really made it difficult for a magazine to actually give you the TV lineup. Of course, their solution down the road was to just eliminate the numbers, which to me made things really difficult. So if you actually found a TV listing in a newspaper, wherever it may be, now it'll tell you, oh, that's on FX. And Lord knows where to find channel FX or TBS or USA or all the others. And I know some of you are sitting there saying, well, I remember that. I memorize all those numbers. I can't. I can't. I literally can only remember ABC, NBC, NBC. PBS. That's it. That's the extent of, of my knowledge. But obviously, in time, you can start to memorize them. But if you then switch from one provider to another, from your local cable company to a competing fiber optic network or to a satellite network or to whatever, the numbers change. Now, the solution to that would be to at least give one of two options. I'm going to give you both. Option one is that it would be great if all the providers in any given region, let's say in New York City, you have a, a choice between Time Warner, which is Spectrum now, and, and let's say Verizon Fios, that within that region, all the carriers there have to use the same numbering system. So that if you move from you know provider to provider, you don't have to re- learn the numbers. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it should go even bigger than that. If you're within a given media market, New York City, whether you're in Brooklyn or Queens or Manhattan, the Bronx, Staten Island, wherever you would be, the numbers should be the same no matter where you are and no matter which company it is. This way, if you wanted to get a magazine or you wanted to be a magazine producer, or if you just simply are a person that wants to be able to sit down at a friend's house and say, oh, this is this great channel on right now, you should watch it. And then they say, oh, what channel is it? You say, oh, it's channel 67. And they go to channel 67 and see the same thing you do. So solution one would be that we should have an option that within any given region, the numbers are at least commonly shared between providers. That would be great. Of course, it'd be hard for them to do that with the satellite providers because they're nationwide, but I'll get to that next. The second option would be that you have an alphabetic list of all the channels in your controller box, and then you can assign them to a template. So let's say you're getting it from a, catalog, uh, a, a satellite company and you're in New York. They should be able to hit a button and say, I'm in the New York area. And then through a template, it just automatically cycles the numbers to match the New York standard. So the New York standard being that this channel's here, that channel's there, the other channel's there. 
And of course, actually, that, that actually begs a third option. A third option being that you have that alphabetic list of channels and maybe the ability to have a template to automatically map them the way you want. But it would also be great if you can upload into your account uh, a list or even use your remote if you want to do that to specifically set what your channel numbers are going to be. It's sort of like a favorites, but a little bit better because you can just say, this is where I want these numbers to be. I want TBS on two, I want CBS on three, whatever your numbers are. You should be able to set what they are, and then when you go to your box, there they are. And again, if they want to make that flexible, they can make it so that you can go into an app or something like that and just say, this is going to be my five, this is going to be my 10, this is going to be my 12. So you have the user definable and preferably standardized, <coughs> excuse me, standardized list of channel numbers. The same from every provider. And of course, you know, it'd be even better if the entire country could agree to the same numbers, but I know that's not going to happen. But they should at least give you some other way of reorganizing the channels or having them at least be pre-organized within a region. And those collectively are today's idea of the day. All right. So that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day. Every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day. Brand new one. And, and some of my videos don't suck either. <laughs>